Good morning and welcome to Pittsburgh City Council Cablecast Public Hearing for Thursday, April 13, 2023, relative, relative to Bills 2023 13 13 and 2023 Bill 13 14. We're going to begin by asking the clerk to read the title of the bills, after which will be followed by Peter McDevitt, the budget director, who will give an overview of the budget amendments. Madam Clerk. Bill 1313, a resolution amending Resolution 724 of 2022, entitled Resolution Making Appropriations to Pay the Expenses of Conducting the Public Business of the City of Pittsburgh and for Meeting the Debt Charges Thereof for the Fiscal Year Beginning January 1st, 2023 so as to reopen the 2023 operating budget to update the revenue forecast to better reflect fiscal year 2022 results accommodate changes in the bureau of police in direct response to the ratified collective bargaining agreement with the fraternal order of police and make changes to associated benefit calculations and bill 1314 a resolution amending Resolution 745 of 2022, which authorizes Stop the Violence Fund expenditures for the 2023 fiscal year by further updating current year appropriations in direct response to operating budget changes required by the ratified collective bargaining agreement with the Fraternal Order of Police. Thank you. With that. Administration's proposed amendments will increase the total operating budget from $656,705,794 to $662,922,842, which is an increase of $6,217,048, um, or about 0.95% of the two in, two in 2023. Um, the increase to the operating budget is accompanied by an updated revenue forecast that was signed off on uh, by the controller, um, which increases the 2023 revenue projections by $11,132,152. Uh, the proposed amendment will affect the following expenditures. There will be a $540,000 increase to the Department of Finance for additional funding to the pension and OPEB. Uh, a $5,677,049 increase to the Bureau of Police for additional funding to salaries and social, social security, and uh, an increase of $397,373 to the Stop the Violence Trust Fund. Um, and then a, a quick summary of the salary changes uh, for the union positions. These are retroactive to the beginning of the year. Um, there is an increase in police officer one by 24 percent police officer two is an increase of 17 percent police officer three is 11 percent increase police officer four is a seven percent increase an mpo is a master police officer is 10 percent increase detective is a 10 percent increase sergeant is 10 is 11 percent increase and lieutenant is a 10 percent increase and then coinciding with these non-union uh, positions there are also changes to their salaries as well for the chief, there is a change from a 3% increase that was in the 2023, 2023 budget from 3% to 10% for chief, deputy chief, assistant, uh, and commander. And then also recruits who are not covered in uh, the FOP contract, uh, they have an increase of 28% in their salaries um, in 2023. Thank you. Um, let the record reflect that we've also been joined by Councilwoman Strasberger. Um, with that, we will now move on to speakers um, who wish to provide testimony. We have no registered speakers. Therefore, if there's anyone with us in chambers wishing to speak, please come forward at this time. Are there any speakers in chambers? Seeing no speakers in chambers, we will now offer up the opportunity for council members to ask questions or make comment if, if they would so choose. Councilwoman Strasberger, is there, is there anything you would wish to offer? Hearing none, that would then mean that we have actually exhausted the business of this public hearing and the meeting is adjourned. Thank you all.